The NCAA has now suspended the kid from Memphis, Wiseman, uh, 12 games. And uh, he has to pay back $12,500 for the charity of his choice. Interesting. Interesting, Jace. You don't think it's interesting at all? I, I know. This story, I guess, is interesting. It's, it's one of those stories that um, I know if I was to really dive into it, there are pieces of it that are super interesting. But on the surface, when I see the headlines for it everywhere, I'm like, does anybody really care about the number one recruit at Memphis at this stage in the season? Not this stage. Not that. That's... I know. I'm sorry. There are people. Andrew might be throwing up in his mouth. It's this came after story. the tournament. Different story, right? But right now, I just feel like it's it's a huge headline that I don't think that many people care about. Well, I think you're wrong. You think so? Yeah. I mean, who's the coach in Memphis? Someone famous. Penny and, Hardaway. Well, I understand the tie, and that's what makes it interesting. Right. But that overall story will play out. But but the fact that Penny's not even in trouble. Well, but well, he, he, is he, like, he, so he what's was, the story? It was just a booster. Then the story is that this but if kid, the kid could be, he could be one of the first three picks in the draft. But if the kid. If the kid is getting suspended, and Penny was the one who gave the twelve thousand mm -hmm. dollars, and Penny's now the head coach, and then he was a booster, isn't the real story how is Penny Hardaway not in any trouble? Because he wasn't employed by the school then. But he was a booster. Right. A booster doesn't do anything wrong. He, booster's not beholden to NCAA rules. So then what did the kid do wrong? He took the money. He's not supposed to. So you can give the money but not take it. You can give it. The kid could say, "No, I can't take it." I'm not saying this is right. I think kids should be paid. All right, it's all I, a I, joke. Take it, I take it back. It's interesting.